I want to start off with this story because I think it's got so many dimensions to it. It's kind of cool. So there's a group, there's a group out there called Patriotic Millionaires. Patriotic Millionaires, as compared to all those other, I guess, non-patriotic millionaires. Anyway, what 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 makes Patriotic Millionaires patriotic in their mind is the fact that this is a group of millionaires who think that they pay too few taxes and think that the tax cuts that Donald Trump initiated or the Republicans passed last year uh, were unfair because they, you know, reduced their own taxes by too much and that they should pay pay a fairer share and, uh, and you know, they sh- they, 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 they they should pay, they, they feel like they pay less, like Warren Buffett who feels like he pays less, less than employees and so on. And many of them are, have already made a lot of money and uh, are now retired and, and, and they just want to pay more money. And I guess that is a very patriotic attitude according to these people because they believe that, you know, our government needs our money and uh, the government should, as their duty, take it from them from millionaires now this is you know messed up on a number of different levels i mean one of the interesting things at the very end of this article was the idea that um i guess they were asked well why don't you just write a check to the government why don't you why don't you you can you can pay more taxes if you want uh right there's no limit on that uh and the guy says i don't want to just give my money to the government I want them, he doesn't say this, I'm adding this, I want them to forcibly take it from me. (laughs) And I want to be treated equally with all my other millionaire brethren and to be taxed equally. I don't want to have to pay extra. I mean, if they were really, I guess, patriotic based on their understanding of patriotism, that is big government and the government should get a lot of our money and should get a lot of their money, they would just write a check to the government. But, But they're not, right? They, they don't, I, I, I love the tone of this. I don't want to just give, my, give away my money to the government. That's right. That's why you should be advocating for lower taxes, much lower taxes. You should be giving a lot less of your money to the government. Now, part of the issue here is, I, I think the number of issues and, and there's a number of paths we can take with this and get directions we can take with this. One is, it's sad. Sad that these people um, feel so guilty about not paying taxes, feel so guilty about making money and being successful that they they really want the government to take it away from them. Uh, they they I think they feel they feel like they're not doing their fair share because they got so much right. It's this Obama idea of you didn't build that. You remember that famous speech that Obama gave? You didn't build that. And these millionaires are taking that seriously. Yeah, we didn't build that. You know, the government had a lot to do with it. it all the infrastructure was built. And uh, we benefited enormously. And we have to give back. And the giving back, charity is too self-interested for them. It's too narrow for them. And, it, and it, you know, I, I, I think it's tempting not to give to charity. And that's what bothers them. The, the people who talked about giving to charity here... It was interesting. The people in this group who talked about giving to charity, they're giving to progressive political causes that are led to lobby the government to raise taxes on them. Well, why don't you just start a charity that helps the poor if you feel like the poor are being hurt by not enough government programs and not enough of your money being stolen from you and given to them? Why don't you start a charity that helps whatever group you think is being screwed? Why don't you get all your millionaire friends together and start that charity? No. They would really, psychologically, they have to do is have the government take it from them and the government decide how it's going to be used. Because to them, it would be too selfish. It would be too self-interested. It would be too much using their own minds and using their own value system to determine where the money to go to just give it to charity. They want to be cursed and then... They want somebody else to make the decision of how the money is going to be spent. And of course, they also want all millionaires to be taxed so that there's a much bigger pool in the hands of government so that government can do bigger things. So here's a group of people who doesn't appreciate what they've done, 
who doesn't appreciate how much they've changed the world, who doesn't appreciate how much they've contributed to the lives of American citizens in the country already, and are therefore demanding that their taxes be raised so they can finally contribute to their fellow man. So a sense of guilt because you know, they didn't build it. A sense of guilt because altruism demands a sacrifice. And it, who was it who turned, I think Bush always talked about shared sacrifice. Shared sacrifice. So uh, it, demands, it demands shared sacrifice. Altruism demands that sacrifice. And they want to be, they feel guilty because they're not going to do it themselves. They want to be forced into the shared sacrifice. And, and this is a, the sneaky way, you know, here's this guy, I mean, the one guy they're interviewing here is on a trip around the world, on a yacht, you know, on this big cruise ship. Uh, he's in the South Pacific right now and they're interviewing him, I guess by FaceTime. And he's having a blast, seeing the sunset, enjoying all his money and complaining bitterly about how he's not paying enough taxes and how guilty he feels for not paying enough taxes. I mean, in, in so many ways, that is tragic and sad and horrific. I mean, partially because the higher taxes are going to prevent the next guy from getting to where he is. Like AOC, 70% marginal income tax rate, is not going to affect him so much because he's living on, re on retirement income. He's not making that much money anymore. He's already made it all. But it'll prevent the next guy, the next poor guy who raises himself by his bootstraps and succeeds and becomes a multimillionaire, that, that tax is going to hurt him. And it's tragic because he can't really enjoy that cruise because he didn't do enough of his sacrificing. He didn't do enough of his giving. He didn't do enough so-called for society to be worthy of enjoying it. He says, we have to show that we have some concern for the country and that we are willing to pay some taxes. Now, notice too, and, and I want to notice too, that there's no discussion here about the role of government. There's no discussion here about what the country is, who the country is. There's no discussion here about what it means to be patriotic. In the whole article, there's none of that is discussed. And these people don't really think in those terms. Because... What is the role of government? It's to take care of people. It's to fulfill your altruistic needs by forcing you to contribute, by taxing you. It's to take care of everybody and therefore it needs a massive pool of money in order to do that. What does it mean? What does it mean? To, to talk about a concern for the country. What country? Who is he concerned with exactly? The country's doing pretty good. I'm doing fine. I'm part of the country. You're doing fine. You're part of the country. So which part of the country is not doing okay that he needs to be taxed in order to support? And will raising his taxes actually help anyone? Right? Not only, not only is, you know, is, uh, is that economically a fallacy, but morally is redistributing his wealth, his wealth to other people actually help those other people? No thought about that. Right? And then one of them says, we're very concerned about that huge inequality thing. Right? He doesn't even know what he's talking about. What inequality thing and why do you care? Why does it make a difference? What are you worried about? How does it affect your life? Why does it affect your life? One of the others once says, it's a pretty good deal for us. But it's not good for the country. What does that mean? What is the country? Who is the country? Where is the country? This is what it means to think tribal, to think in a tribal manner. Yeah, we're good. I'm good. I'm good. But the country, where's the country? Who is this? Who's suffering? How do I? Right. So it, it is such a perversion and it's such a awful perspective and 
you know, a lot of them say, look, a tax system is a monstrosity. And I agree. The tax system is a monstrosity. It's a monstrosity because it tax the, taxes the rich so much. It's a monstrosity because it has all these loopholes and all these deductions and all these exclusions. And, and it's a monstrosity because some people pay and some people don't. And there's no logic to any of them other than the government trying to manipulate our behavior and trying to do stuff that's good for the country. It's a monstrosity because it's tribal and collectivistic. It was, if it was an individualistic tax system, even though the only really individualistic tax system is a zero tax system, it would at least be flat and tax everybody the same and in terms of a percentage, even you know, dollar-wise it's not, tax everybody the same percentage-wise and not try to manipulate people into particular types of behavior, into you know, saving or not saving, giving to charity or not giving to charity, buying a home or renting, or the million other things that it incentivizes people to do on a personal income tax basis or on a federal income tax basis. You know, move to Puerto Rico or not move to Puerto Rico. All right, so patriotic millionaires. Wow. Talk about guilt and collectivism, tribalism. 